The for next statement allows you to create a for loop in Excel VBA. For loops are used to execute code a fixed number of times and can be accessed through the Visual Basic Editor in Excel. Let's start with our first example on sheet one. We are going to use the for next statement to loop through the products in column A and update the appropriate application type in column B. First, we will need to open the Visual Basic Editor. You can do this using the Alt F11 shortcut, or you can select the Developer tab and then Visual Basic under the Code section. If you don't see the Developer tab, we've left a link in the comments below with instructions on how to display this tab. Here on the left, we have our Excel objects. Double click on Sheet 1 to open its code window. We will create a new subroutine called TOTN for loop example 1. We'll create an integer variable called lCounter. And we'll start our for loop by entering for lCounter equals 2 to 4. lCounter is our loop counter variable, and we want the for loop to start at 2, end at 4, and increment by 1 each time we pass through the for loop. Next, we'll use an if statement to test the value in column A, so we enter if cells l counter comma one dot value equals excel then this will test the value in column a the first time we enter the for loop l counter will be equal to two so it will test the value in row two column one which is cell a2 if this value is equal to excel then we want to set the corresponding value in column b to spreadsheet so we enter cells L counter comma two dot value equals spreadsheet. Let's test for another condition by entering else if cells L counter comma one dot value equals access then, and we'll set the value in column B to database when this condition is met. And we'll test for one more condition by entering else if cells L counter comma one dot value equals word. And we'll set the value in column B to word processor for this condition. We'll close off our if statement with end if, and we'll close off our for next statement with next l counter. When we go back to our worksheet, we'll use a button to run this code. Under the developer tab, select insert and then click on the button icon. Left click and drag to draw your button on the worksheet. Select TOTN for loop example 1 to assign the macro to the button and then click on OK. We'll change the button text to something more meaningful. To run the code, just click on the button and all of the application types in column B will be updated. The for loop tested the values in cells A2, A3, and A4 and updated the corresponding values in cells B2, B3, and B4. Let's go to sheet two and look at another example. Here we have a list of participants in column A. Let's use for loops to assign each of the participants to either team A or team B. In the developer tab, click on the Visual Basic button again. And this time, double click on sheet two in the Project Explorer. We'll create a new subroutine called TOTN for loop example two. We'll create two integer variables called lCounter1 and lCounter2. And start our first for loop by using the counter variable called lCounter1, starting from 2 and ending at 9. But this time, we will use the step keyword to increment our loop counter by 2 each pass through the loop. We'll enter cells lCounter1, comma 2 dot value equals team A to set the corresponding value in column B to team A. And then we'll close the for next statement with next l counter 1. We'll create a second for loop using the counter variable called l counter 2, starting from 3 and ending at 9. Also using the step keyword to increment by 2. We'll enter cells l counter 2, comma 2 dot value equals team B. And we'll close the for next statement with next l counter 2. So the first for loop will update cells B2, B4, B6, and B8 with team A, and our second for loop will update cells B3, B5, B7, and B9 to team B. Let's go back to our worksheet and create another button to run this code.
We'll select TOTN for loop example 2 as the macro and click on the OK button. Again, we'll update the button text. To run the code, just click on the button and the teams will get assigned, alternating between Team A and Team B. That covers some basic examples of how to create a for loop using the for next statement in VBA. If you would like to see more examples, or would like to download the sample data we used for this tutorial, please visit our website at techonthenet.com. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great Excel tutorials.